doing a dark while you're filming? Yeah. I can turn a lot. The funnier, the better. I want some uh, feet action. Bro, I'm dead. I don't know. Right, son, are you ready? Yes! I don't know about this one, Darcy. Alright, see you later, son. <laughs> uh huh? Uh, just a uh, Halloween. <laughs> What'd you get? Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, I got it in prison. Don't ask why. I've never been in prison. You've been in prison? Uh, I don't know if he's alive or not. Dad, if you're out there, subscribe. I think that just explains everything fatherless. Right, guys, today we are playing a different card game. We have uh, Endeavor 3 from the new jet burns uh set um i or only just originally got into this game um and i got started on a deck called the razor head and everyone's like yeah the deck's good the deck's great you can play the deck no the deck's fucking horrible and i like had the worst time of my life they're like yeah you need to need to just just learn how to play the game first and then i don't, I don't know the deck was horrible so yeah uh just forked out a bunch for this deck we got our xr hero um, yeah, uh, so if you don't know this guy, um, every single attack you can enhance, um, and for people who aren't aware of my hero or universes, um, enhance is like an extra step you can do during your attack phase. So kind of like how in Flesh and Blood, how you have instances, all your cards have an instant effect. Um, so when he enhances, um, he mills the top four cards of your deck and uh, gives your attack four, two speed, but if you've cycled this game, so if you've gone throughout your whole deck and you've reshuffled your deck, it gains plus three attack. You'll get there very quick, um, especially like you kind of play tempo. We're playing the fire build. We're not playing the, um, I think it's the life build, uh, just because relatively new to the game, but it is a good deck. I almost beat the best player in Sydney with this deck last night, almost. Um, but I lost every other game, but don't worry about it. So yeah, uh, Endeavor, um, very good hero. And we'll get on to the high, low blocks. So we'll start off with foundations and we'll go to attacks. Um, just one second. Oh, I know we'll play the deck. Dude, is that, is that finger <laughs> I don't know how to do tricks. Hey Ben, we're losing light here. We have to drive back to Sydney after this bed. Uh, uh, whatever this thing's called. Yay! Uh, deck profile. So to start off with, we'll start off with a low block foundations. We have three one man inferno. Um, this says every attack, you mill one card and your opponent mills one card. Uh, cost zero, so we play a lot of like low cost foundations in this deck and all of them don't block well, which is a downside for this deck, but it has so much damage it doesn't matter. Um, you mill, you mill, you mill, you mill. And which is good, because when you cycle, you, all your attacks get extra stuff. Uh, we then got quick to attack. If you are half health, which is good because you're a blocking here, a, a non, not that much blocking hero. <laughs> Your attack gains plus one attack, which is very good. <laughs> look at him. Look at look at the position he in. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, quick to attack, four of. Uh, next we have four, no remorse. Um, it's just okay. Flip, if your three has made three or more checks, this turn, draw a card. So, like, you can play this aggressively or you can play this defensively. Like, 
when I was versing in Asui deck, they like swing a lot. They do a lot of checks. You can draw. A lot of the time, you won't have a good block in your hand to be able to block with. So, no remorse is good. We have four lost for battle. One of the reasons why this deck is fucking cracked. Um, when you mill this off the top of your deck, your opponent's next check is minus one. Is it minus one or plus one? Minus one. Um, but failing that check does not fail them. Uh, fail that thing. Um, we then have two ignite. Um, which we are now going to a mid block, sorry. Uh, two ignite. Uh, the next check you play gets plus one. It's only playable if you are, uh, have already cycled. But it's pretty good because you at that point, um, we're only playing it too just because it's like it's a fair decent card. Um, yeah, it, you, it it helps you when you get into the late game. You can use this ability, to destroy it, uh, get yourself out of deadlock, which happens a lot in this deck. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, four fiery confrontation. Um, after your rival makes a check to play an a a attack or action card, that gets minus one. So usually when you're playing against a, a player, you always just have to like mention to your opponent that you have this here first, because you have to like, they have to play the card down, then you can flip this. A lot of the time people will be like, oh yeah, you know, uh, oops, bit too late. But yeah, you know, it's there, it's okay. It's just to get you through the early game, not during like the late game. Um, we then have one soul piercer. I tried more soul piercers, but I didn't like it. The only reason why it's because it's a unique. And um, if you're playing like two or three, sometimes it can break up your hand. And because you only want to review like your lust for battles and your, um, what are the other card called? Uh, aggressive temper. You just like want to just leave it one. And I'm fine with it being at one. Um, and then we go on to a, a, our, oh no, all good. We then have four aggressive temper. Another reason why this deck is amazing. When this card is milled off the top of your attack during your uh, attack's hand step, um, it just gains plus two damage. There was a game where I like milled three, uh, two of these in one turn where my attack just gained an extra four damage for no reason. Um, and then we'll go to our high blocks. We have three of the new number one. Um, I like it at three. So the reason why this is at three is because we are playing just the one soul piercer rather than playing four. Um, you could go like two and two, but this this card's too good to just uh, like run at two. So that's why that's like that. Um, so the new number one, it cannot be sealed, which happens a lot against like Todoroki. Um, you can commit this return and attack to its original speed. Give it minus one speed or plus one speed. There's a small combo you can do in this deck compared to the, like what the life deck can do. Um, even though the life deck can play this too. But um, you can also mill two cards once per turn. Unseal one of your cards. A lot of the times people can seal your leader. So you want to just like unseal it like, you know, against a, a razor head or whatever. Um, we then play uh, four season battle flip after your rival blocks with an attack. So a lot of the times people are blocking with attacks that have breaker, um, and you can just draw a card off it. It helps sometimes a breaker can just like a breaker two can just end your turn, and having the extra card is very good. Um, then we play four latent skill. A lot of lists only play three. Some play two. The reason why I like playing latent skill is because I play uh, prominence burn in this deck. Um, so this, in my opinion, is very good. You kind of want to like have two of them in your foundations and then flip one early game and then flip another one. Yeah. Yeah, the producer. This is the guy that edits all the videos. This is a, 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 a actually a face reveal, actually. This is Tobias, the Tomathan of Toms. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not talking. That's just Tommy. He's just very shy. Um, and 
that's it for our foundation. So yeah, I like playing four because I'll flip one in the early game and then flip one in the late game for a prominence burn. Um, and then we play three barrier shield. Um, I'm yet to try out capture all evil doers yet, but this is good enough. Um, there is a card in our deck that makes your action cards free. Um, so you can go like enhance, not free, they don't have any more progressive value. Um, so you go rival cannot add cards from their hand during this attack due to uh due to their non-character effects uh so there are some decks that can like add cards from their like foundations to their hand yeah i i, I like barrier shield all right going to the attacks we have four flash fist health hell spider it's just a good early attack it's not too great in the late game. It like is a three high for six damage, which is enough. And don't forget with our leader ability as well, that is also uh, a, like f uh, f five speed base basically. Um, and then on top of that gains plus one speed off its own ability. And then all your attacks gain plus one damage. So that's why I play this. Um, and I play it as a four of because I like consistency. I don't like one offs or two offs. I'm talking about one offs, play one frigid heat wave. I like this card. I understand why people play more copies of it, but usually you just want to play the one. This is a tempo aggro deck, like most decks in this game. Yeah, this is a tempo aggro deck. It's also uh, ranged heavy. Um, and you usually just want to add this off your uh, with your leader ability skill, which is once per game, you can go through your moved and add one um, attack. Um, yeah. One Frigid Heat Wave. We then play three plus Ultra Prominence Burn. Um, probably the Haymaker of the deck. Uh, so it is a four low for five. It also checks for three, which is very good for like a specialty that does this kind of damage. Um, so response, after you discard a card from the top of your deck during this enhanced step, your rival commits one foundation you may play this up to three times this turn. So this can like uh, rest three foundations on an attack. Usually I use this as the first attack and then lead with other attacks. Um, then first enhance, you double this card's damage. So this is a, if you've cycled, um, so this is a 10 damage for four low, but then it becomes a 13 damage for, uh, for four low, and then it becomes a, uh, a, a, Six speed for four low. Very good. I like this card. Um, Flash Fire Fist Jet Burn. The reason why this deck's cracked is because this card has an ability. Or well, any Endeavor deck. Uh, this card can mill your entire deck if you're playing the life build. But what we do is we use Pro Hero number one. The, the new hero one. To reset this card's value to uh, zero speed. And then keep milling off that. Um, so yeah, this end up, ends up becoming like a uh, like 8 speed, 6 damage on its own. And then play 4 Dark Shadow Ruin. Main reason why is because it's a ra uh, another ranged Breaker 1. Um, I think it's the only Breaker in this deck other than um, Barrier Shield. Um, but also, so this helps with your Barrier Shield where it becomes free to play during the rest of the turn. Um, also, if it gains a speed uh, speed boost, it gains three damage and stun one. So your leader ability does that, that on its own before and after you cycle. Um, and yeah, it becomes a nine damage, nine? 11 damage, 11? 13, 11 damage on its own with uh, six speed by itself, just with your hero ability. And then to round it off, we play four twisting is yours. Uh, twisting is yours, you can either start with it or you can go second on the attack because it's only a five check. Um, and just with the hero ability, once you've cycled, makes all your checks minus one. And yeah, that's my uh, Endeavor 3 deck profile. Um, I'm hoping to make more content on this game because I think this game is very underrated and undervalued by a lot of content creators and a lot of players. I think this is the de be one of the best games out there currently, like other than like Dragon Ball. Um, it's just hold ba ba back by being My Hero Academia, but Universes is also going to add other card games in the future. So, well, not card games, other 
What's the word? Cards? No, not cards. Other IPs in the future. Like we're getting Cowboy Bebop, we're getting Attack on Titan, uh, Transformers, I think, as well. Yeah. I don't know. There's other IPs, but yeah. For now, I yeah, I'm very much enjoying this like this game altogether, and for me as well, starting on a very strong deck like Endeavor is very good for me. Also, this this deck wasn't too expensive as well. It was like under like two hundred dollars all up. But yeah, um, that's it for the deck profile, um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. I got no funnies. <laughs> Next deck.